we have to find the current flowing through the external resistance connected to the parallel combination of three cells or parallel grouping of three cells. So we are drawing the diagram containing three cells of equal uh, different EMF and different internal resistance in parallel combination. These are the three cells which are connected in parallel combination and this parallel combination is connected to an external resistance R and these three cells have different EMFs and different internal resistances. E1 is the EMF of the first cell, R1 is the internal resistance, E2 is the EMF of the second cell and R2 is its uh, internal resistance and E3 and R3 are the EMF and internal resistance of the third cell and capital R is a external resistance and current I is flowing through the external resistance capital R and V is a potential difference across the external resistance. Again, V is the, say, uh, v is the terminal voltage of each cell in this uh, parallel combination of cells. Let a parallel combination of three cells parallel combination of three cells three electric cells of different EMFs E1, E2 and E3 different EMFs E1, E2 and E3 and internal resistances internal resistances R1, R2 and R3 be connected to an external resistance is external resistance capital R. That means this parallel combination of three electric cells uh, is connected to an external resistance capital R. So in this case uh, I1 is a current which is generated from the cell of EMF E1. I2 is a current which is generated from the cell of EMF E2 and I3 is the current which is generated from the third cell. Therefore, the total current generated from the parallel combination of three cells uh, is given by total current generated from the parallel combination of three cells is given by I equal I1 plus I2 plus I3 as according to Karshop's current law. This is the total current that also be flowing through the external resistance capital R and it is also the current generated from the parallel combination of three electric cells. And this is equation one. Now the terminal voltage of the electric cell, terminal voltage of the first electric cell of EMF E1 during its discharging is given by terminal voltage of the cell of EMF E1 is given by V1 equal uh, that will be V not V1 equal EMF minus lost volt. So V equal E1 minus I1 R1 where I1 R1 is the product of current and internal resistance of the cell of EMF E1. So I1 R1 is uh, also known as lost volt of the cell of EMF E1. That means potential difference V will not be equal to E1 due to the lost volt. 
So from that we can find E1, uh, I1, I1 is E1 minus V divided by R1. So this is the current I1 which is generated from the first cell of EMF E1. I1 equal E1 minus V divided by R1. This is equation 2. Similarly, so what is I1? Current, this is the current generated from the first cell of EMF E1 and internal resistance R1. Generated from the first cell of EMF E1 and uh, internal resistance R1. Similarly, the current generated from the cell of EMF E2 and E3 are given by currents generated from the two cells of EMFs E2 and E3 are given by I2 equal E2 minus V divided by small r2, small r2, not capital R2, small r2, equation 3 and I3 is equal E3 minus V divided by r3, small r3, assuming that there will be discharging of the three cells and we get I1, I2, I3. Putting this expression in equation 1, we get I, actually I was uh, I equal I1 plus I2 plus I3. Now putting the expression of I1, I2, I3 in this expression, we get what? E1 minus V divided by R1, E2 minus V divided by R2 plus E3 minus V divided by R3. Therefore, I equal, total current I equal E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2, E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 plus E3 by R3 minus V is taken common under bracket 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So uh, this is uh, the expression of total current generated from the parallel combination of three cells. I equal, this is equation 3. Equation 3 I equal E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 plus E3 by R3 minus V bracket opened 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Again, the current, again the potential difference across the external resistance capital R. Also, the potential difference across the external resistance, external resistance capital R is given by capital R is V equal current into resistance I into I dot R. So from the diagram R is the external resistance and V is the potential difference across uh, this external resistance. Therefore, V equal I dot R, current into resistance. V equal I dot R. That is the potential difference across the external resistance. From this, we can find I. 
और कॉमा i इक्वल वी बाई आर पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस डिवाइडेड बाय रेजिस्टेंस इज v बाई आर विच इज इक्वल टू i इक्वल वी बाई आर इक्वेशन फोर Comparing equation three and four. Comparing equation three and four. Equations three and four. Three and four. We get V by R equal. E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 plus E3 by R3 minus V bracket open 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 bracket closed. So therefore, V equal. If we simplify, then we get V equal E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 plus E3 by R3 whole divided by 1 by capital R. Plus under bracket one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three. So this is a formula of terminal voltage of parallel grouping of three cells or parallel combination of three cells. V is the terminal voltage, so V equal E one by R one plus E two by R two plus E three by R three all divided by one by R plus one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three. So this is what V is a potential difference across the external resistance capital R, and also V is the terminal voltage of this parallel combination of three cells. V is the terminal voltage which is equal for the cells E1, E2, E3. We get uh, the expression of terminal voltage of this parallel grouping of three cells. This is the terminal voltage. Parallel combination of three cells. Terminal voltage means potential difference across the two terminals of a cell in a closed circuit. Terminal voltage of the parallel combination or parallel grouping, parallel combination of the cell of the three cells, which to be connected to an external resistance, or Potential difference, PD. Potential difference means PD across potential difference of the two ends of the external resistance, capital R. Which is connected to the parallel combination of three cells. Potential difference of the two ends of the external resistance capital R connected to the parallel combination of two three cells. Connected to the parallel combination of three cells. Parallel combination of three cells. Potential difference across the two ends of the resistance capital R divided by R. Therefore, I equal. If we put the expression of I, uh, I equal one by R into E one by R one plus E two by R two plus E three by R three whole divided by one by R plus 
bracket open to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 bracket closed. So if we simplify then we get the expression of total current i therefore i equal in the numerator we should have u1 by r1 u1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 plus e3 by r3 in the denominator we should have 1 plus r bracket open 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so this is the expression of total current generated from the parallel grouping or parallel combination of three cells or this is the current flowing through the external resistance capital R connected to the parallel combination of three cells. Total current flowing through total current flowing through the external resistance going through the external resistance capital R external resistance capital R connected to the parallel combination of three cells external resistance capital R are generated from generated from the parallel combination of parallel combination of three cells parallel combination of three cells of EMFs E1 E2 and E3 Thank you.